All right, let's see. We have three heroes at our disposal. We have Apply Three Week. This seems like an interesting one. We have Robin, who applies Snow and Aimless. We have Picos, who, when hit, adds Chili Pepper. We've done a Chili Pepper style run. Something interesting about Robin, and there's also something interesting about uh, Marley. Let's try Robin. And if we're going snow here, let's grab Snoof. Okay, the Naked Gnome. All right, so we're going to try to protect the Naked Gnome this time. Which I think is going to be hard with an aimless hero, but... So we can use up our Recycle here. We can take... Ah, I don't want to get snowed. So I think I'm, I was trying to get, get the crit on the Snowzooka, but I think I'll do this instead. You're going to hit twice. Yeah, okay, that works. Sparing the Naked Gnome is going to be uh, easier said than done, it seems. Okay, let's let them get some more people out. Okay, the Goblin is down there. We'll, we'll try to make the Goblin work here. Okay, th okay, that does give us money. We can't really... You're going to almost kill this guy, so I think I think we just keep doing this. There's no... I don't think there's a better way for us to delay here. Might as well use this gear hammer. Actually, no. Then Snoof kills the gnome. So we need you to do that. Let's just Snowzooka you. Then Snoof gets the kill there. We protect the gnome. Now, now, and now we have to stall a bit. So this increases the countdown and increases the damage. So I think I will do this. So that hopefully, oh, requires junk. We are junkless. Okay, then I guess we have to do this. Okay, so now at least you have a target, thank goodness. Whenever anything is snowed, gain attack. So we're going to silence that off. So that you can be snowed. Now, Snoof, you're hitting for three. So we could get the kill right now, and then the gnome survives. I don't see another way. Well, we can certainly take the damage, do that, but yeah, I, I don't know that the gnome survives if with our aimless multi-hit hero, so we'll just do that. We'll just finish it off. I leave a little bit of combo on the table, but it means that the gnome survives, which apparently gives us a charm. There's an achievement for that, is the rumor. Thanks for sparing me. Let me come with you. What are you? Are you a hero? Let's go. Hmm. I guess it attacks very quickly. So there's the with the proper charms that could become quite the gnome could become quite powerful. Given that we have the gnome, let's go let's go charm treasure frozen traveler here. The hard mode is keeping the gnome alive. Let's 
So let's see. Gain five bling from each kill. Do we have anyone that I want to put that on? I think Robin's going to be doing a fair amount of killing. I'm okay with that. I should always wait until we see our next Frozen Traveler. I know. The Blunder Tank. When junk is destroyed, attack for five. Blaze T. We got to take Blaze T. Yeah, we got to take Blaze T. That seems very strong. Oh, Mika. Mika, Mika, Mika. Tinkerson Jr. seems quite interesting. We don't really have a junk creation engine yet. Demona, if you were Barrage, maybe. I know Mika's, I know Mini Mika is good. For obvious reasons. I haven't taken Tinkerson Jr. Let's grab them. So does the gnome not count as a as a hero? Because aren't we only supposed to be able to have three right now? The Berry Witch and Earth Berry. You're probably the scarier one. I will Snowzuka here, I think, to buy myself some time. You're going to hit for two, four, five, and then we're going to get a junk from here. So let's just get Chinkerson Jr. out. Okay, that was bad counting, clearly. Some of, some of the worst counting. You seem like you could scale up a lot. But I kind of like the idea of, of concentrating things here. Okay, so you're going to do that. You're going to hit for two on this. This would damage your damage because the junk would go away. Maybe we just gear hammer here to... So that we get all the damage in on the next Earth Berry here. I like the idea of silencing this Earth Berry up here for when it attacks. So you're gonna hit for three. I'm gonna need to take that on my on my hero. You're gonna hit for six, but we don't actually care, right? Junkhead takes both of these. Oh, you're gonna long shot. We might. You're only hitting for one. Let's do that. Oh shoot! Yep, I messed. Uh, I messed that up. That was almost dangerous because I didn't realize she was. I forgot she was going to heal. So now this increases attack and do to do. I want you hitting with all of the junk, but if I redraw, you're also not hitting with all the junk. Let's do that. Okay, so it makes you attack faster, not slower. I messed that up. Okay. Big money, though. The gnome continues to do gnomely things. Now, if we want to get a combo, there's, ba there's very few ways to get a combo here. This five becomes a four, which is not enough. I can get Snoof to attack this turn, but Snoof doesn't hit hard enough.
I think, okay, here's what we do. I think I Sunsong box you. I let you attack, and then these two should now be synced up. Oh, we have a boss to deal with. For some reason, I thought we were at the end of the fight. Whoops. Deal damage equal to health. I think Earthberry now needs to get silenced. So I'm going to do that and that. Earthberry will hit for zero, so that's fine. Okay, Gnome, you come down here. Actually, Gnome, you can get the kill on Berry Witch. I don't, I don't see a problem with that right now. I think we just do damage here. Get out of here. All right, let's see. So right now, this is not a kill. But this is a... Well, this, this is a kill if I just do this. So let's do that, and then we'll redraw. And we're hoping to draw Snowzooka. Okay, so you hit here. That's... Okay, you two... You two kill this guy. Then the Berry Witch doesn't take that much damage. You're killing... Oh, you're killing this guy, but you're killing this guy with a bit of overkill. Because you're going to do two, four, and then you're going to hit for two here. Then we have you hit for, you're going to hit for four, which means you get three kills. And then you two deal enough damage. So we want to do three damage here. And then can we take all of the hits that we're taking? Kind of depends on when this silence effect falls off. I'm assuming this guy is silenced, so we're going to take three. Let's hope that I'm correct. Okay. Yes, that did work out correctly. Oh, but she healed. Which ruined the the combo, unfortunate. Well, we got the we got the two combo, not the three combo, because of the the heal that she put out. Still good. I feel like we have over indexed in Frozen Travelers in the past. We kind of have our lineup here. It seems we don't have any ability to get charms. I think we want the woolly snail though. So let's do this. We can we can always improve things. Haze Blazer. We know that Haze is insane. Take two from all allies. Yikes. So so we're gonna be doing damage every time Haze Blazer attacks? That seems like a lot. Crego, I think, triggers off of recycling. We're not going to use any of these, I don't think. I'm going to take Bonnie because maybe there's like a healing... Healing something. So see, this is... Oh, yeah. Oh, three of three because our hero doesn't count as the, as the one of them. That's why there's four on the top line. Got it. Foxy's always good. BG is a lot like the the shroom person that we had working before. I think I think we want Foxy though. Foxy's just good. So until we get some charms for the naked gnome, I think this is the this is the play. Ooh. Sun cream seems like it could be kind of it could go kind of insane. Because Sun Cream on the Gnome means the Gnome is hitting every turn. If we then give the Gnome any abilities from Charms, we're, we're cruising, potentially. Add Frenzy to an item in your hand. Recycle two. This seems hard to utilize. I wish we could get a Charm and the Sun Cream. I think the sun cream is too aggressive a take right now. Ah, oh, it's so good though. Like you put it on Foxy and Foxy's hitting every other turn. I'm gonna grab it. All right, we'll see. That could be, we may rue the day. We may rue the day. 
Okay, Infernoco, we know you. Here we just need to get stuff out. Snoof can take the hit. We're gonna take the barrage here of two. Which I don't love. Okay. And then I think we just need, we need you to take the barrage. You need to tank the hit for three and one. All right, I think that's the best we can do. Okay, we, we let Infernoco gain more than I necessarily wanted it to. Do we have a junk in hand? We do. Oh, we can't sun cream and. If we do that. I kind of want to get Junkhead out there because we need... We need a lot of things. But we mostly need Junk. So you're going to hit for two. Might as well put you down here. But yeah, I think I will get Junkhead out. Because if nothing else, when Infernoco attacks, it's going to be less than ideal. So are we getting three plus three? We're killing this. So let's, let's silence Infernoco. And then we can Snowzooka here. Someone's going to be taking a hit for five, though, unfortunately. And we are junkless at the moment. Yeah, we're, we're struggling on the junk front. Um, we can have you just hit for two if we silence you. I think that's the play. And if we're just having you hit for two, let's get some junk here. Well, you can take the hit for two. Hold on, maybe there's something better that we can do. I don't think we need Foxy to go right. Actually... Uh, more, more freeze, or let's put that there. Yeah, we can take the damage there. You're hitting for five now, and I think we we lack an answer for how to stop you from killing someone. So who's? Unfortunately, I think Tinkerson Jr. is the one who takes the hit. Oh, that, that worked, actually. For the moment, at least. Okay, we can keep you under control. You're, you're going to be a problem, though. Which is worse? You, you're going very soon. So I think we want to keep you at two, which means we're going to... We're going to have to figure out an answer for this guy back here, unfortunately. I'm going to do this just in hopes that that does that, because you're going to hit for one. You're going to hit for two. You're going to hit for one. That means Junkhead is dead. And you're at one HP, it looks like. And we have a three damage gear hammer. I don't think we do any better than that. Okay, thank you, Junkhead, for your service. Okay. 
Okay. Infernoko is going to be unfortunate. Okay, Snowzuka will use to slow you down. I think, do we have a, we have a four gear hammer. Uh, I think you're hitting for two in a barrage. We're getting, things are getting a little, a little spicy, but I think we do indeed take the two here. And then we ice you. I'm not nervous. You're nervous. <laughs> we don't have a lot of HP at the moment. Uh, we could certainly, like, heal Tinkerson Jr. But I think we just keep pushing back as much as we can here. Okay, you're going to hit for one and apply a week. I think that's relatively okay. You're hitting for eight. You're hitting for four. That's 12 damage on Infernoco. But yeah, now we're going to take two casualties for my callousness. Yikes. Any way to set up a combo here? You're going to hit for two, four, six. So if Foxy goes, we do get the combo if we do some damage back here. Which I think we can do. This is perhaps greed, but now you're five? Yeah, okay. I think we get the combo this way. Took some injuries, unfortunately. But we will indeed take the card draw. Okay, double Frozen Travelers doesn't feel good, so we'll go this way into the shop. We need to get uh, some crowns. Oops, almost took something I didn't want to there. Add one, recycle. Molten Dip, increase attack by two, barrage consume. I like, I like Bite Box again. Even if it's just saving us one hit. I think it's uh, probably worth. Gigi's cookie box. Add two. Increase attack by two. Trash to consume. That with bite box seems pretty good. The grabber also seems interesting. Bomb Barrel also seems interesting. We, we've wanted to pick up some trash. Let's grab Let's grab a crown. I, I think we just need a crown. I like Foxy. This seems really good for us with Bite Box. Can I put this on non-clunkers, I wonder? This also seems pretty good. Bomb Barrel. I don't know if Bomb Barrel is something we can afford. Uh, I like Numlin cards always. One damage and yank could come in pretty handy. Let's get a charm though. Actually, no. Let's let's go for this. I wanna I wanna see how that works. I wanna see if who I can use it on. And also, it, it generates some trash for us, which we, we know we're a little lacking in trash. Oh, wait. I was just here. Okay. 
Okay, so I like the idea of Blaze tees teeing here. I think. Maybe I don't. We don't have any trash. We're going to slow down one of these. We'll take a hit for two. I should have gotten Sunsong Box out on Foxy first. Oh, I don't have the recycling for it. Never mind. We have 10 HP. This would do three. All right, let's do that. Seems like we had a pretty bad draw here, all things considered. I don't know if I want to have everybody get a ton of demon eyes. Let's do that and do some damage on uh, Jab Jout. We're hitting for five. That's not great. So the problem is we don't have we don't have the ability to get Bite Box out and give it cookies, which I kind of hate. Here's what I think we do. No, I think we just play Junkhead, and we we save Bite Box for a second here. Okay, that's going to do that. So now we can play Bite Box. Now we get we get trash for doing this. Wait. Wait, can I do this? Huh? This doesn't work at all the way that I thought that it did. Is it because Bitebox doesn't have attack? Is that the issue? It seems like that might be the issue. Let's try putting... Add... Add two, increase by two, trash to consume. What am I misunderstanding? Does this only work on offensive clunkers? That's what it, that's how it's reading right now to me. Which is baffling. How much HP did you have? We just hit for one, two, three. Why did we hit for so little with Tinkerson Jr.? Hmm. There are a lot of things going on here. There are a lot of things going on here that I do not fully understand. Use this on anything. I'll let you hit the bite box, but then you're take you're hitting for five, which is not ideal. I think we bring out Snoof to immediately die to this this gawk. <laughs> Sorry, Snoof. This is uh this is very touch and go. When snow to apply demonize. Alright. You're gonna hit for two, we can handle that.
I think we're we're very quickly gonna run out of runway on this one. Yeah. It certainly feels that way. No snow. No snow is available. This is pretty catastrophic. I, I assumed I could use this on Robin or on the bite box, but I cannot. So we could reduce the cooldown by one. So we could have someone go first. That doesn't really help. Now you're gonna hit for... So you take this hit, you're dead. You take two hits and then you are also dead. Yeah, I think, I think we've just lost. I don't think there's a way out of this one. If we use Sunsong Box, Foxy at least gets their hits in before they die. It's depressing that that's about what I think we can do here. Yes. And now we die. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we drew some cards that we did not fully understand, and they did not work the way that we expected them to, unfortunately. So that's, uh... That's the price of doing business sometimes. We did spare the naked gnome. Okay, we got Challenge Stone and we got Inventor's Hut. So this has got to be the Gnome Charm, presumably. Gnome Friend. Remove the Charm Limit. Oh, that's a cool one. I can see that doing some pretty broken stuff.